Hi, Douglas 101 here. So today I'm gonna be opening up and reviewing the Skultimate Secrets Laguna. Now I do not have the original Laguna yet for the G3, but I will hunt that one down or just order it off Amazon probably. But um, anyway, here's the other ghouls you can get in this collection. You can also get Cleo, Frankie, Dracula, and Claudine. Now they were they had um all but Dracula and Frankie, so I will have a review on Cleo Claudine shortly. I gotta hunt down these two ghouls. Anyway, you just got all the little directions and instructions and whatnot on the back. Nobody really cares about those. Front of it, you can see this nice artwork of Laguna. And it is a locker. Each one comes with a locker. Sorry about my hand. I am filming this during the winter time. I'm gonna get really dry skin. So no, I did not cut myself. Okay. Annoying enough to get into. Yeah, it's got just the cardboard outer patching. Okay. So you get Laguna. You get instructions. I don't read instructions. I don't care for instructions. They're just a nuisance. <laughs> careful near her hair. They really do strap them in a lot now. Oh, so many kajinkers. Why? Like three in the back of her head. Okay, I gotta cut those. That's gonna bother me. In the kajinkers. Nobody likes kajinkers. They leave holes in your fabrics on your dolls' clothes. There we go. Ah, so I'm gonna show you the base doll. Oh, wait, I should show you the locker. This is the inside. It's got this little display. Cute. Looks like she's at the pool with Neptune. I, I think that's her fish's name. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. It's really cute, colorful. And you see her locker has a picture of her, Ghoulie and Frankie. Then there's one that has Frankie and Cleo, what I think is Neptune, and all these things. Cute. Okay, now I'm going to show you the base doll. So, Laguna Blue is now Laguna Pink. We love pink, we're living for pink. <laughs> But I still don't know why. I don't know why they changed her to pink, but I love pink, so I'm okay with this since it is a G3 Monster High doll. She looks really pretty. So she's got her normal blonde with the light blue highlights, but now she's got purple in her hair also. Lavender purple, really pretty. Her hair's really soft. 
anyway. Wow, um, okay, the lighting is not liking right now. There we go. Now you can kind of, should I turn it down a bit more? There we go. So here she is. So she's got her little scales on top of her forehead now. Her eyebrows are blue. She's got blue and light pink makeup. Her skin is a light pink. Look at the neon blue on her lips. Look at the adorable. Oh my, her, her crop top is adorable. It's got a little ruffle. It's pink. It's got flowers on it. And it's even got that flower that was in her hair of her original dolls. So that's a reference to that. Like all these G3 dolls that I have so far I found like references that look similar to one of their other doll releases from the original ones from the G1 Monster High back in 2000. I think it released in 2009. I got my first doll in 2010 because it took forever for the dolls to come to Canada. Or at least where I live. Anyway. She has more curves now. Beautiful. So they're not as toothpick like as the old ones, which I love. They got lots of articulation. Wrist. Elbow. Shoulder, you know. Her pants. Or I mean, <laughs> pants. Shorts. Her shorts have the little scale designs. Oh, the shorts kind of feel a little bit cheap. They're black. They got blue and green on them. Cute. Oh, she's got her fins. And her fins are molded on. So you will not lose these. Or the bottom ones. I think the bottom ones are too. Perfect. Now you won't lose them. I lost lots of Laguna fins from the original ones. <laughs> Her legs are blue, and it looks as if as she were in the water. Look, they're water blue. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, never mind. They, they, I spoke too soon. They come off. Okay, I'm just not going to touch those, because I know I lose them. Oh my, her shoes. <laughs> Love them. They are pink and rose red. So it looks like there is, I want to say that's an octopus, and its tentacles are all around her leg there. How cute. Love it. So that's the doll. She also had a key behind her to open up the other things on the locker. Now... I don't know if you're, I think you're supposed to be like getting keys in each of them to open the next one. I'm not going to do that. Still no idea what I'm going to do with this uh, locker because it takes up a lot of space. One's open. Two's open. Three is open. See, I don't follow directions. I'm just going to open them all as is. There we go. Got a cute little key that you can put as a necklace or on a keychain. There's a key. I'm not going to lie, though. I do like the doll just how she came out of the locker. <laughs> I mean, it's cute. You got shorts and you got a crop top. Don't know why the lighting is so harsh on her. But anyway, now we are going into... I'm gonna put the light up now. Surprises. Surprise. One of the bags. Uh, yeah, 
these dolls can make food. Okay, that's a little bright now. Whatever. Something light, guys. <laughs> Sorry. So she got um organic gummy. And it's little little fishes. Then she comes with some sort of wrap that looks like it's in seaweed. Perfect for the underwater theme. She comes with a little, oh, coconut water. Or coconut milk, I'm not sure which. Either There's the other key that I may have saw an opening on the Claudine one. Just by watching that, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get them. Uh, this one has a little thing you can put the keys on. It's a little pain to get open though. It's a little skullette, cute, black. I think I'm opening it backwards, out of order. She's also got this pair of shoes. Looks like tree designs and color of water, translucent. Then it's got like a... Is it translucent or transparent? I think it's transparent because you can't really see too too much. But, cool. It's white, black, blue. I think I'll be le uh, do I want- I think I'll leave these ones on, yeah. They're kind of cool. Oh, cool. She's got a hat. It's got a fish skeleton on it. It's blues. This one. Also transparent. It's just a plastic one. Oh, she's got earrings. Make sure I don't lose those. So I'll put them in her ears. I think that's everything. Be paranoid that I'm gonna throw important stuff out. Key. So here is her necklace. Looks like it's got a shark tooth and it's silver. I'm gonna put that on. Boom. Then she's got these little earrings with the flower. It's pink. Love it. I'm gonna put those in her ears, which. Her ears are pierced, but there we go. Also, my Laguna doesn't have too wonky of a face, which I love because I hate when they come with wonk face. Yeah, the only thing with these dolls. What's annoying is you cannot see their face when you're in store, so you gotta kind of gamble to see if they're gonna have the wonk face. I'm gonna put, whoop, try to put your hat on, girl. Cute. Okay. Laguna. Laguna pink. Cooperate. I know it's Laguna Blue, but she's she's pink now. You know? Okay. One more. Last thing. Ooh, pink key. She's got the pink key. Love it. Okay. And she comes with more outfit pieces, so if you don't like what she's wearing, you can switch it up a little. So she's got a skirt that matches that crop top. Cute. She's got another crop top that says surf. I'm just gonna leave what's on her on her. Then she comes with a jacket. 
has a heart on it there with the bones of a fish by the looks of it. Yeah, two fish bones. And she's got this crinkly material that's annoying on her sleeves. And it is holographic. We love holographic. Anyway. I might put her jacket on after. Just because I think that would look cute. But anyway, that is it for my review on Miss Laguna Blue Sculptimate Secrets. Please like with a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you want to see more of my weirdness. Bye.